on it. Guys, Ivan Tomokov here from RazorSharpDigital.com, a human marketing agency that helps brands forge their digital governance through human to human convergence. And today I want to talk about three things that I think are imperative about social media marketing that I think a lot of companies are getting wrong nowadays. And this actually, you know, I have to, I have to thank uh, my friend Elizabeth uh, Bergeret. I think that uh, I pronounced that correctly. Uh, I think her last name is French, technically, and surprisingly enough, I've known her for a while, but I've never actually pronounced her last name. So um, it was a little challenging. I actually got to speak with her a little bit ago, and I have to thank her because um, she invoked some ins inspiration behind this particular video session. So um, here's what I wanted to talk about. Now, here's here's three things that I wanted to share with you guys about social media marketing. And everyone is using social media nowadays. That's the reality of it. And I think a lot of companies, a lot of people are trying to use social media for personal branding or for business reasons to help them sell more products or services. So here's three things. And I'm going to dive right in that I think you need to really master about social media in order to get value out of social media, in order to feel like social media is paying dividends to you. <clears throat> the first one is value. You have to give people something of value. There has to be an enticing proposition for them. So if you're asking them to sign up for your newsletter, for instance, is you have to give them some kind of an offer. You have to give them some kind of an incentive to get them to opt in because the reality of things, people are just not going to give them or they're not going to give you, excuse me, um, their personal information uh, just by signing up on, on a, a newsletter, for instance. So you got to have some value, okay? What kind of value are you offering, okay? And make sure that you make that as prominent as possible so people can depict that clearly, whether it's through your Facebook status update or uh, through a tweet um, that you send, send out, whatever, um, message you're sending out, make sure you have something of value to offer because people are looking for value. The second thing is communication. You have to be very succinct with your messaging and particularly with uh, the way that you engage with people. You want to make sure that you're speaking the language of your buyer persona. Also, you want to make sure that they are comprehending the information that you're sharing with them. Also, when you're sharing that information, make sure you're doing it at the right time, at the right place. Um, because the reality of things is your buyers, your customers do not reside every single social network. So it's important to identify where your buyer persona resides and from there figure out how you engage with them and what that communication looks like, what that context looks like and how it engages with them on those specific social platforms. So number one was value. Number two was communication. And number three, and this is a really big one, is response. Guys, you have to understand the response is better than perfection. Okay, let, let me repeat that. Response is better than perfection. I think so many brands strive, to strive for perfection that they forget about response. What I mean by this is, if you message a prospect, whether it's on Facebook or on Twitter, and you're sending out an engaging piece of message, if they respond to you, you have to reverse that and re respond in an adequate time fashion because response is key. You have to understand that most potential leads nowadays will go cold in about 15 minutes or less because in the reality of things, the attention span of today's consumer is very, very short. Uh, it's almost on demand. And it can be very frustrating, especially uh, for businesses that might be undergoing a growth phase. Response might be a matter of a time constraint. So again, three things for social. And again, I think these are three things, three things that I think uh, can help you become more successful in social media marketing is one, you have to offer value, something that's enticing to people. Two, communication, be very succinct in your messaging. And number three, as response okay so don't forget those uh i truly hope that you'll put these into play if i can help you in any way feel free to reach out to me on any social platform or you can also email me if you'd like ivan at razorsharpdigital.com and i would love to speak with you about that thanks so much for watching guys hope you're having an awesome day take care